We're just a day away from the first launch of a commercial-grade satellite on the Nuri space rocket. And South Korea has come a long way since 1993 to reach this point. Our Kim jong sil looks back at the past 30 years. It all began in 1993 when South Korea's first science rocket was launched. Founding member and former president of the Korea Aerospace Research Institute looks back on that moment 30 years ago. I think it was a very important launch because it was the first step for the Korea Aerospace Research Institute to develop a rocket that would be used in space research. We had a mere 20 members on the team, and when it was put together and launched successfully, we were all thrilled and excited. I can still feel that moment like it was yesterday. And nine years later, the first liquid propulsion rocket was launched. As the rockets got bigger, the need to make the engine liquid was vital as it allows delicate control of the thrust and another important reason. The uh, solid rocket can be easily transferred to the military purpose. So obviously this may cause some international conflict of interest. So in order to avoid that kind of international situation, uh, Korea decided to develop liquid rocket engine. In 2013, South Korea's first satellite launch vehicle, NATO, went up into space. It was jointly developed by South Korea and Russia. When we were developing the KSR-3, North Korea tried to launch a satellite using its Tepodong-1 technology. It failed, of course, but back then, the South Korean government also wanted to launch a satellite as soon as possible. So we needed the help of other countries. Russia, in this case, provided us the first stage rocket, while South Korea developed the second stage rocket. The successful launch of NARO paved the way for NURI, a space launch vehicle that's 100% South Korean technology. Not only is the rocket made in Korea, but the satellites are Korean as well. And the NURI now carries eight satellites for practical application, such as ground observation, or constellation mission, and so on. So uh, the third launch will be the first real-world application for the NURI. Fewer than 10 countries in the world have this technology, and South Korea hopes that Nuri's journey will be a stepping stone for South Korea to secure a global leading edge in space exploration. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.